recording. All righty. Thank you for coming uh, out so we can all do some yoga together today. Uh, it's Wednesday. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do the light class tonight, so there won't be a lot of push-ups. Although you can do push-ups in between the poses. And whenever we do reverse plank, you can do a full vinyasa, dropping down, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog, if you like. Otherwise, uh, we'll just be doing a plank in some of those spots. And we've done this class before, but I always like to let everyone know uh, in the beginning. Uh, today, what, normally there's so much construction next to my uh, apartment that uh, like at 7 a.m., it's pound, pound, pound. It's, knocking, not they're hammering, hammering, hammering. And I've been waking up. And for whatever reason today, <laughs> they weren't doing any hammering. I woke up at 9.15. I haven't slept till 9.15 since they started this construction site. So uh, anyways, uh, thank you for coming. I'm gonna move back a little bit. We're gonna start with uh, some breathing and moving. So sit however you can sit comfortably. Taking my glasses off. And we've done this one in the, the other classes too. I'll call them the more difficult classes, but they're not that difficult. So I think I'm back far enough. Hands on the knees for a moment. So we're going to move uh, <clears throat> with the breath. So we're going to breathe in as we reach up. And as we breathe out, back down with the hands. And again, breathing in, up. And back down with the hands. And again, breathing in, up. And back down with the hands. And let's just continue breathing in, reaching the hands up and back down. A few more of these in on the up, back down. Breathing in, up, back down. Let's keep going. Breathing in, up, and back down. Breathing in, up, and back down. A couple more. Breathing in, up, and back down. Breathing in, up, and down for now. Right hand out, drop the shoulder down, grab the fingers, pull back a little bit, and continue the breath. Even when we're not moving, we're breathing like we were breathing when we were lifting the hands both directions. In and out through the nose, drawing the breath in, pushing the breath out. Deep and deliberate breath, making everything a meditation. Just focusing on the breath. All right, let's shake that hand out a little bit. All right, uh, left hand out, shoulder down, grab the fingers. Pull back a little bit, core engaged, breathing in the nose all the time, the whole hour, breathing in and out through the nose. All right, we're gonna shake those hands out a little bit if you like. We're gonna reach the right arm straight up, hello. And we're gonna bring it down the back and the left hand can grab the elbow, head pushes against the arm. If you're feeling super flexible, you could come around the back and introduce the uh, fingers. I find holding the elbow uh, better for me because I'm pretty tight in the shoulder, but also I can get a tiny bit of a leverage but if you're pulling down on the arm, it's a different uh, leverage with the hands behind the back. Both are great. We're going to breathe. All right, let's switch left hand um, all the way up and then down the back. And the right hand can either uh, grab or you can come around the back. You could even hold a strap in the hand behind your back and then grab the strap if you can't get all the way up there to get the uh, hand. Anyways, and always, we're breathing.
Okay, hands on the knees again, like your spine is one piece. Uh, we're gonna draw a big circle on the ceiling with the top of our head. We're circling one direction at first, and of course, breathing in and out through the nose. It's moving. and opposite direction. Continue that breath with the opposite direction. And back to center. It, I like to call this seated cat cow because it's a very similar movement. So the bottom half of the ribs are going to thrust forward as we look up. So there's a bit of an arch in the back. And then, I'm sorry, uh, yes, and then arching the back other direction as we look down at the floor and moving in the head and the uh, whole torso. The out breath is uh, when you look down at the mat. The in-breath, of course, is the lamp looking up. Lots and lots and lots of breathing. So those of you that want a vinyasa can vinyasa right here. The rest of us are going to stick the feet out in front of us. And then we're going to point the toes. We want the fingers pointing uh, towards the feet. We're going to lift the hips and look at the ceiling. And then back down. We're going to bend the right leg and take your time getting easily into it because this pose is normally done pretty late in the sequence. We're going to take the left hand and grab either the ankle or strap around the foot or the toes if it's possible. We're going to breathe in on the reach up. We're going to breathe out on the fold down. On the fold down, think about that right shoulder coming down flat to the earth and over and over with the movement and the breathing. And next time you are up, go ahead and stay up looking to the reaching hand. Let's keep the base. Let's come down. Both hands either on the foot or the strap, but we're going to look straight forward. So we're not trying to forward fold, although you're welcome to. We're going to just lengthen through the leg that is extended and the straight upper back staring face forward just a couple of breaths right here good let's uh switch to the other side so uh right leg out left foot um right on there to the thigh right on right or holding the strap or the ankle keep the leg straight so you can just put a belt around your foot i'm gonna breathe in and reach up and we fold down on the out breath. Remember that left shoulder should come way down. If your uh, yoga mat has a bag, you can use the strap that goes over your shoulder on your uh, mat bag to wrap around the foot also and get a hold of that. Out breath on the downward fold. Taking your time and breathing.
And next time you are up, we will stay up again, looking to the reaching hand. Keep the base the same, but come forward. You can grab the wrist or both hands on the foot of the strap. Looking forward so the back is straight, trying to pull the shoulders back, and I can really feel that length on the underside of my leg. Keep breathing. Those of you that want to do push up, up dog, and down dog, go ahead. The rest of us are going to again reverse plank, point the toes, hands behind you, fingers pointing towards the feet. Lift the hips, look at the ceiling. And back down. We are going to bring the soles of the feet together. Left hand on top, right hand on top of that. We're going to sit up real tall, pull the shoulders back and down, pull the core in, reach the core to the crown of your head. You can butterfly if you like, otherwise just breathing and staring straight forward, breath in the nose. And when you're ready, go ahead and forward fold, pushing the elbows against the legs. And even if it's harder, try to put your heart on the big toes so we can keep that back kind of straight. You can really push the elbows against the legs and we're gonna breathe here, long time. Good, back up. Those of you that want a vinyasa, please go ahead. The rest of us are going to reverse plank, lifting up, looking at the ceiling. Great. Back down. Let's cross the legs again, however they cross for you. Let's put the hands up on the shoulders with the fingers down the front and the thumbs down the back. You can go real slow. You can go as fast as you want, but I'm going to go slow. Breath in on one side, breath out on the other. Holding the core so the spine is running straight up the back. If you find one side is tighter as you go over there, like there's resistance, let's put the out breath on the side that is resisting and see what happens. You could also bring the arms out in goddess or out way far like uh, paddles. It's a lot of leverage, it will get you further. So be careful with it. Let's take the right hand and put it on the left knee. The left hand can go right back behind you, six inches out from your tail, or all the way around, grabbing your shirt, your pocket, your leg, or your foot. Gently look back at the wall. And all the way over to the other side, left hand grabs the right knee, right hand behind you, or all the way around grabbing the shirt, the pocket, the leg. Very nice, back around. Uh, we're reverse planking again. Those of you that want to do the vinyasa know 
I won't announce it anymore. Anytime we do this, you're welcome to vinyasa. We look up at the ceiling. We're going to hold for a moment. And then back down. We'll cross the legs and we're coming to hands and knees for a cat and cow. Knees are two fists apart. Hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrist, middle fingers straight forward. We're going to let the belly drop and look up. That is the in breath. And we're going to arch the back on the out breath. And just moving with the breath. Good, back to center, look over the right shoulder, see the tail, we're gonna hold for a moment. And then over to the other side, we'll see the tail on the other side. And back up, you can be on the toes as I am. If your back is real open, you're welcome to put the feet down flat. We're going to put the thumbs into the lower back, pulling the elbows together, and we're going to look up at the ceiling. Now you could stay right here, which is what I might choose to do, or you can put the fingertips on the heels, tighten the legs a little bit, put your heart up on the ceiling, and then you would see if the feet were flat, you'd have a couple more inches to further go into the back bend. Or just keep the thumbs in the back, looking at the ceiling, breathing here. Good, back down to uh, cat and cow. I can't do that pose without doing cat and cow on either side of it. Although I've been in a lot of classes that do that, but it really bothers me if I don't do the cat cow afterwards. A few more breaths here. I'm gonna look over the right shoulder and see the tail. And over to the other side. Good, back to center. Before we're gonna do some standing work, but before we do that, let's turn the right hand in to face the left and feed the left arm through laying down onto the shoulder and the side of the face. You could push the right hand against the mat. You could lift the right hand up and put it on the back if you prefer, around grabbing the leg. And we breathe. Good, back up, let's do the other side, left hand in, right arm feeds through, we lay down again, we push the hand against the mat, or come up and around, it's your choice. Good, back up. Let's start with horse. So we'll be on the mat and it's a good starter because it gives us a good spacing of the feet. So the feet are about the distance of your elbows and you can hold the ceiling. And we'll take a few breaths here. And we'll, we're gonna probably do horse twice today. Just a few more breaths on the first go round a horse. All right, let's stand. So we're gonna turn the right toes straight out and away. The left toes are coming into about 45 degrees. And we're gonna bend the right leg for warrior two with the arms right on out over the heels. And we're gonna breathe here looking at the right middle finger.
So straight that right leg, we're gonna pivot, turn the right toes into 45 and the left toes out. We're gonna bend the left leg, getting warrior two on the other side. Tight core, light shoulders, breathing, looking at the left middle finger, the hand that is in front of you. Good, straight the leg, the left leg. Let's pivot again, left toes in, right toes out. We're gonna do triangle, trikonasana. So we're gonna reach out a bit and right hand down, <clears throat> left arm up. You can look up to the reaching hand. You can look down to make sure you're stacked right over the leg so your nose will be pointing at your foot. We'll breathe here. Good, let's come up and we're gonna pivot, turning our right toes to 45, left toes straight out. We're gonna reach out over that left foot for a triangle on the other side. Left hand uh, maybe on the shin or palms facing out and away. If you're more flexible than that, I'm sure I've told you another way to do it. We're gonna reach the right arm up, looking up. If you look down, look at the foot. You want everything, the shoulders stacked over the shin. Breathing in the nose. Good, back up. We're gonna pivot again, left toes to 45, right toes straight out. For a moment, warrior two, we're gonna bend that leg again. Just hit that for a moment. And then we're gonna do extended side angle by taking the center of the right forearm and placing it out on the leg close to the knee, left arm up and over, straight line, looking up along the elbow to the ceiling. You could splay the fingers or make a fist. You could also put the right hand on the ground if you want, uh, changes the pose. Seems a little deeper, it goes closer to my hip, but let's breathe. Good, back up, we'll straight the uh, right leg. We're gonna turn those toes into 45, left toes out straight away. Bend that leg in the front again for a moment of uh, warrior two. And when you're ready, we're gonna place the uh, left forearm on the left leg, right arm up and over. We're gonna breathe right here. Good, back up, turn the feet into horse feet again, so the toes are splayed out. This time though, we're putting the hands on the knees heavily. We're gonna let the right shoulder rotate forward, and then the left shoulder, and go nice and slow, back and forth. Just a few more of these. Come up into horse again. This time we push the walls out and we're gonna stay here breathing. Good. 
Couple more breaths. I know it's a little difficult. Good, let's stand. Let's turn the feet so they do run straight forward. We're gonna reach uh, straight up to the ceiling and then a wide-legged forward fold straight down. Fingertips on the line, the toes of May, maybe palms down. Definitely let the back drop to the crown of your head to the mat. And we're gonna breathe here. And back up. We're gonna reach out to the ends of the fingers and then behind the back, we will intertwine the fingers. If you have tension in your upper back, push the palms forcibly together, reach the arms down the back, hold the core in. And we're gonna forward fold. If your upper back is fine, you can have the hands a bit apart, but remain uh, intertwined fingers. Engage the core, touch the ceiling on an in-breath. On an out-breath, back down, keep the legs straight. We're gonna grab the shins, the ankles, or the big toes with the peace fingers, pulling the elbows away from the ears, letting the head drop to the earth. Let's stay down low, both hands over to the right, and we're gonna rotate the left shoulder under and through. And then over to the other side, right shoulder under and through. And let's stand, and you can step the feet out a little bit. And we're gonna do tree. So standing on your left foot, we're gonna lift the right leg. You can either lock the foot uh, against or add in the front, which I'll do today. Hands to the heart uh, or arms all the way up. And we're gonna take several breaths right here. All right, let that down, you can step it out for a moment. And let's do the other side, standing on the right. We're gonna lift the left, either locking or out in front, hands to the heart, again, or all the way up. Good, let that down, step it out. We're going back to standing on the left foot. We're gonna lift the right leg up and the left hand's gonna grab the right knee, other hand on the hip. You could stay here, you can reach the right arm back, you can look back, you could grab the big toe, extend the leg, or you can just stay here holding the knee. Let's breathe, standing on one foot, nice and tall, breathing in the nose.
and let that down, step it out. And we will stand on the right foot as we lift the left. Uh, right hand grabs the left knee, other hand on the hip. You can stay here, you can reach back if you look back. Grab the big toe, extend the leg, stand up tall no matter what. All right, put that down with the feet a bit apart and slightly turned out. You're going to squat. When squatting, you can put the elbows against the legs with the hands in prayer. So the legs push open and lengthen up your back. If you wanted to do headstand or crow, you could here. We're just going to breathe. Good. Let's come to hands and knees. Again, knees are about two fists apart. Shoulders over the wrists. We're going to do uh, three poses out of here. We're going to point the right foot straight back and the left hand, either handshake or palm down, straight forward. I'm going to look at the mat and breathe. You could stay right like this if you prefer, bend the leg, grab the ankle or the foot, arch up in the body, keep the knee pointing. It'll point up, but straight back, so it's not pointing out to the side. We look up third eye, breathing in the nose. Good, back down, left leg back, right hand forward, hand shake or fall down. Uh, I like looking at the mat, breathing in the nose. Let's stay right here. Those of you who prefer can grab the uh, foot of the ankle, arch up, third eye looking. Breathing. Good, back to hands and knees for a moment. Let's take a couple breaths right here, just in hands and knees, keeping things in the way slow. We're gonna step the right foot top of the mat. We're gonna keep the left knee down. If you want more cushion under your knee, you can double up the mat, just pulling it from the side. Once here, we're gonna reach the arms up like a big funnel, let the hips hang and we're gonna breathe. We're taking the left elbow, swinging it outside of the right leg, which does not move. Keep it right there. Hands pull in towards the chest, fingers to the face. You could stay here where I will stay, looking at my foot. You could come onto the ball of the left foot. You could look up to the ceiling where the right elbow is pointing. We're gonna stay here and breathe. Great, let's switch it. We're gonna step that right knee back, the left foot uh, forward and arms up again like a big funnel. Let the hips hang down. We'll take several breaths right here.
Let's twist other side, right elbow outside of left leg. Leg strong, hands pull in towards the chest, fingers to the face. Whatever you did on the other side, please uh, copy it here. You could uh, ball the foot on the right side if you like. I'm looking at the foot. You could look to the ceiling where the elbow is pointing. Okay, back to hands and knees for a moment. Now we're going to step the right foot top of the mat. And we're reaching the arms straight up for this uh, third one in the sequence. Breathing here. And down on the inside, right hand right next to the right foot, left hand down under the shoulder, leg pulls against the right shoulder and side. You could walk the hands forward trying to put the elbows down. We're going to stay here breathing, looking at the floor. Great, let's step that knee back and we're gonna do the other side. Stepping the left foot top. Oh, and straight up arms. And again, straight down on the inside. So the left hand is right inside the left foot. Shoulder being pushed against by the leg right here and breathing. If you want to walk the hands forward, you can. We're going to keep on breathing. Good, so we're gonna end up sitting down. I'm gonna do one vinyasa if you wanna join me, stepping back to the top of push-up, lowering down, up dog, and down dog. And then let's sit if you're not already sitting. We're gonna do our uh, core work, but we're gonna, uh, instead of, well, we're gonna do twists in between. So let's start with the twist. So, with the heels down, the legs bent, we're gonna take the left elbow outside of the right leg with the right hand behind you. Try to sit up tall as we pull the shoulder back and look back. And then we're going over to the other side. So right elbow outside the left, sitting up tall, looking at the wall. And back around. So this will be the beginning of one of five. Roll back under the tail. You can stay here holding the arms. You can bring the arms out, pull the shoulders back, looking at the toes. You can straighten the legs, hands, prayer, third eye, or toes. One of five, here we go. Put the heels down, let's twist. Left elbow outside of right, looking back. Over to the other side, looking back, and up again, number two, keep the shoulders back, keep breathing. Heels down, twisting, left elbow outside, and switching right elbow outside. Up again, number three, shoulders back.
Good, heels down, left elbow outside. And over to the other side. Back up, number four. Shoulders back, breathing, looking at the toes. Good, heels down, we twist again, looking back. Other side. And one more time, back up. Good, hug the knees in, let's lie back. And we're gonna uh, grab the shins, pull them down and bring the nose up to the knees. You could bring the forearms onto the shins. And when you pull down the uh, lower, the lower back comes off the earth a little bit. Good, let's put the uh, feet down, feet and knees about uh, two fists apart. Longest finger almost touches the heel, but we're gonna do a hip opener here. We're gonna lift the right leg up and we're bringing the right ankle down the inside of the left leg, just slightly below the knee. Right hand feeds through, grabbing either the underside of the leg or the shin, which is a little more intense. Flex the feet, bringing the toes to the shins and then lay back and we're taking a bunch of breathing right here. Good, let's uh, switch it. So uh, right foot down, left leg up, down the inside, left hand feeds through the legs, grabbing the shin, flex the toes, bringing the toes towards the shin, and another hand on top or the other side. We'll breathe here. Long time, much breathing. Good, feet down. We're gonna do two different versions of bridge. You're welcome to do Urvadhanya Rasana. Uh, again, feet two fists apart, longest finger almost touches the heel. The first version, we lift the hips, we tuck the shoulders, intertwine the fingers, push the arms down. It's the one we always do. We're gonna stay here, breathing. Good, back down for a moment, pull the knees into the chest again, maybe bring the nose up. Good, and then feet down again, you can do your measurement with the long finger almost touching the heel, but this time hands go up and over the back, the back of the hands are on the ground or the mat, and then we're gonna lift the hips up and hold here. Great, all the way back down. If you have a belt or a strap, it will be very helpful on this next sequence. 
forgot to put mine out. We're going to lay all the way down flat. Make sure I'm in frame. And we're going to put the strap on the right foot. You can use a belt, a rope, a yoga mat, a t-shirt, a sock, or whatever. And if you don't have that, that's fine. Just put your hand on the back of your calf. We want the head all the way down and try to have the shoulders all the way down and the legs straight up holding the strap or behind the uh, calf. And we're going to breathe here. You could take the left hand and push the left leg on the ground. And go ahead and let that leg fall out to the right. As you reach out and look to the left, Back up, we're gonna switch hands on the strap of the leg. So now that leg comes all the way over, the hip comes up all the way over to the left as we reach out and look out to the right. Good, back up to center, both hands up towards the heel. Now the shoulders will come off the mat, bringing the nose up towards the knee. We'll take a couple breaths right here. All right, put that down. And we're gonna switch sides, so left on left. Whatever you got on the foot or the back of the, the hand on the back of the calf, we're going to take several breaths here. The right hand can go on the right leg if you like, keeping it down. Go ahead and let that leg fall out to the left as you reach out and look out to the right. Try and keep everything kind of being flat on the earth. So let gravity drop you down into it. And up, let's uh, switch hands uh, on the uh, strap of the leg. The hip comes up as we come over to the opposite side, looking out to the left reaching hand. Good, back up, both hands up towards the heel, nose towards the knee. Shoulders will come up. We're gonna hold here a little bit. Great, let that down. We're gonna do mild inversion tonight. So if you can get to a wall, and put your feet up the wall, great, or up on a couch, just so that the feet are elevated higher than the heart. I'm gonna do the wall in a moment. You're also welcome to, if you prefer to do plow and shoulder stand, you can do that sequence, we'll be long enough to do that. I'm going back to the wall, and I'm gonna put my feet up, and this is a great favorite pose of mine. 
Great pose to do at the end of the day. And you can have the feet just straight up. You can bring them out so the inner thigh opens a little bit if you like. Either way is fine. Arms out like a big T. And then just try to relax and let the pose do all of the work. And you're breathing though. That's all you've got to do. Breathe and lay here. You're welcome to stay with your feet up the wall. You can stay there a long time. Otherwise, we're gonna do a couple finishing poses. So those of you that wanna come down, come down and bring the uh, knees up into the chest again. Imagine you have pencils uh, on each knee pointing up to the ceiling. We're gonna hold the shins and we're gonna draw circles on the ceiling one direction at first. And then the opposite direction, please. And our nice and familiar pose, arms out like a T. We're gonna take a breath in. As we breathe out, let the knees fall to the right as we look to the left. You could put the right hand on the legs. We're gonna breathe here. Good, back up to center and over to the other side. Left hand can hold the knees down, reaching the right arm out as we look to the right. Good, back to center, hug the knees into your chest. Thank yourself for coming out. And then we're gonna lay down. Once laying down, we're gonna take a five minute laying down meditation. So once laying down, put your hands on your core with the longest finger touching the other longest finger. And every time you breathe in, those two fingers come apart and every time the body breathes out, they come back together. Let the breath do itself. Don't breathe the body. Just let that happen. And become just aware of the movement. All of your mind's attention on the fingers coming apart and back together. And we will be here five minutes.
All right, you can take the hands off the core and reach the hands over the top of your head, lengthening as long as you can on your mat, fingers to toes, and then hold the core down with the strength of your core like you're trying to push your lower back onto the mat and hold that long stretch, fingers to toe, hold the core down. Very nice, bring the knees uh, into the chest and either roll to one side and push yourself up to sitting or roll straight up to a seated position. Once sitting, we're gonna bring the hands to the heart center and rub them together. Trying to make a little bit of fire or a lot of fire. And then like a big funnel, we're gonna reach the arms all the way up into the sky. We're gonna take a breath in through the nose as much as we can get. We're gonna breathe in more. Through the mouth, one more if you can get it. We're gonna tighten the core, the floor and the legs. We're gonna hold and then let it all out. Ah. All right, thank you for joining me. I always find that class fun and enjoyable, especially you don't do it very often. Let me stop the recording on this. Oh, it's danieloverberger.com. You can find links to my Venmo and PayPal there for uh, leaving a donation.